Hi there, welcome. My name is Mother Kelly, and this is Good Shepherd Chapel. This is time that we can think more about Jesus, pray to him, draw close to him. Jesus is the one who said, I am the Good Shepherd. A shepherd is someone who takes care of sheep. I wonder who those sheep really are when Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. Who is he taking care of? Let's open with a song. We learned this last week. If you're new to Good Shepherd Chapel or you haven't tuned in in a while, I'm glad you're here. You'll catch on to this one. It's fairly easy. So join in when you're ready. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noontime, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down. Love him, love him, love him in the morning, love him in the noontime, love him, love him, love him when the sun goes down. Thank him, thank him, thank him in the morning, thank him in the noontime, thank him, thank him, thank him when the sun goes down. How about praise him? Praise him, praise him, praise him in the morning, praise him in the noontime, praise him, praise him. Praise Him when the sun goes down. We'll continue with Good Shepherd Chapel. Remember there are words sometimes that I say. There's words sometimes that only you say. Sometimes we say words together. Sometimes we use gestures that have meanings all by themselves without saying words. So follow along. And if you just want to listen, you can do that too. That's still praying. I'll continue. Lord, open our lips, you say, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Together, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Well, you may remember how we talked about the mustard seed last month, Jesus told parables. A parable is a story that helps us understand a great mystery about God. And in his parables, he uses very simple things to help us understand those deep mysteries. Today, we're going to hear about a pearl. A pearl is a beautiful thing that grows inside of a shellfish called an oyster. I have one right here, an oyster shell. There is a pearl, you see that? And we're going to hear about a merchant. A merchant is somebody who buys and sells things. So let's listen and we'll light a candle first. We light a candle to remind us that Jesus is the light and his words put light on our path. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noontime, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down. Serve him, serve him, serve him in the morning, serve him in the noontime. Serve him, serve him, serve him when the sun goes down. Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. On finding one pearl of great value, 
he went and sold all that he had and bought it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What did you hear? Do you hear the word merchant? This merchant was in search of something. Should we listen to it again? Jesus said, The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. On finding one pearl of great value, he went and sold all that he had and bought it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The merchant was searching for fine pearls and he found one of great value. I wonder what it was about that one pearl. When he found that one pearl, did you catch what he did? He sold everything he had. Everything. So he could buy that one pearl. How beautiful that pearl must have been, right? How precious it was to him. Nothing else compared. I wonder why would Jesus tell us this parable? What is he wanting us to know about his kingdom? The kingdom of God. I wonder. I would love to hear your responses. Sometimes we can answer in words. Sometimes, and you can certainly tell me when you see me next. Sometimes, though, we can respond with art. Maybe today you can draw a picture of something God will give you in your heart and in your mind to draw. It will be a picture all your own and a picture that God gives you and helps you to draw with your art supplies. Even just a pencil on paper can produce beautiful drawing. I'd love to see what you do. Sometimes our response can be with a song. Before we go to the song, I realize that I had I found another picture of a pearl. Would you like to see it? It might have been hard to see the one I have here on my prayer table, but here's a picture of someone holding a pearl. I like it too because you can see other pearls behind, but this one that the person is holding, maybe this is the merchant's hand, He's holding the pearl of great value. Somehow he knows. Somehow she knows. That's the one. This is a song that will sound familiar to you. Maybe. Maybe not. But join in when you can. Put my Bible away here. There we go. Put it up in its very special place on our prayer table. Here's the song. The kingdom of God, what is it like? It's like a pearl. It's like a pearl. And this pearl of the kingdom, what is it like? It's the most beautiful thing that exists. It's the most beautiful thing that exists. 
the kingdom is in the highest the kingdom is in the smallest the kingdom is over the earth the kingdom is inside of us sing it again the kingdom of god what is it like it's like a pearl it's like a pearl and this pearl of the kingdom what is it like it's the most beautiful we can do this in sign language beautiful is around your own face it's the most beautiful thing that exists i'm going to try that with two fingers make a circle around your face it's the most beautiful thing that exists the kingdom is in the highest the kingdom is in the smallest the kingdom is over the earth. The kingdom is inside of us. Nice. We'll continue with the Lord's Prayer. And we sing it in Good Shepherd Chapel. So if you're not familiar, just listen to it and pray with us in your heart this time. I'll begin. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 Well, I wonder if there's anything you'd like to say to God for this parable of the precious pearl we heard today. Thanks be to God. Is there anything else that you are thankful for today? Maybe you've been on a trip, you've come home. Maybe you've been able to go somewhere special or see someone special. Maybe it's someone's birthday today or coming up this week. Thanks be to God. Is there anyone that you would like to pray for? Maybe you know someone who is sick or not doing too well. Jesus, the Good Shepherd, he knows. He is with them. Just like he is with you. After we say the name of someone, then we can say, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. I'll try it again. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And then we close with, let us, I'll say, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's try it. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope Fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you want to look that verse up today, it's in the Bible. It's in Romans 15, verse 13. And we'll close here with, there's lots of ways we're closing our prayer time, aren't there? Singing and a verse we memorize. Let's close here with Day by Day, and then we've got that new song. Are you ready with your hands? Day by day, dear Lord of thee, three things I pray, to see thee more clearly, love thee more dearly, follow thee more nearly, day by day, day by day.
So glad you're joining me this morning. Here's that last song I introduced last week, and I've got some hand actions. If yours were different, because I'd asked if you were there last week for you to think about some hand actions, well, show me what you got next time you see me in person. Tell me what you came up with. But see what you think of these. Okay, here it goes. God be in my head and in my understanding. You see my hands. God be in my eyes and in my looking. God be in my mouth and in my speaking. God be in my heart and in my thinking. God be at my so you can see me. God be at my end and at my departing. Maybe it's better this way. Departing. Amen. Let's try that one again. God be in my head and in my understanding. God be in my eyes and in my looking. God be in my mouth and in my speaking. God be in my heart and in my thinking. God be at my end and at my departing. Amen. Amen. God be in your departing today. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great week. And God bless you.